Hey there, it's Wendy from Worldwide Speak. And today we're going to talk about transition words. And specifically, I'm going to focus on just a few areas where um, we use certain transition words uh, within a paragraph. Transition words are crucial in your writing, even if you've been writing for a long time in English, but especially if you're beginning to write in English. Those words make your writing much easier to comprehend and it's much easier on the reader. We speak with transitional words all the time and we don't even really think about it most likely. So it's pretty natural for us when we're speaking but it's not as natural for us when we write. That's why watching this video is so necessary especially if you're learning English and you're just beginning to write in English. All right, let's learn. All right, transition words. What are they and what's their purpose? Well, it's really important to think of transition words like this image, a bridge. Bridges connect things. They make it easier to travel from one area to another area. And just like that bridge, a transition word creates a bridge in your writing between sentences. It makes it easier for the reader to travel from one sentence to another because it's all connected. And today, I want to talk to you specifically about transition words that we use to show sequence or order of events or the, you know, the way things happen. I want to talk to you about um, transition words for sp specific examples to let the reader know, hey, I'm going to use more detail here. Pay attention. And lastly, I'd like to show you some transition words to show that you're giving your conclusion statement or your conclusion paragraph, um, that you're ending your thought. First, let's talk about transition words that we use to show sequence. You know, like the order of steps, let's say, in a process paragraph or a process essay. Uh, reasons, you know, reasons why. Um, Chicago is the greatest city, or maybe a chronological order of events, you know, like first I got up, then I brushed my teeth, etc. So, which transition words are we going to use to show um, this sequence? Well, I'd like to share with you a few of these that we use. These aren't all of the transition words, but these are a good foundation for you to start using to get comfortable using these words and to memorize them and to internalize them. So when we have, when we begin, we can use these two transitions. We can use first, then with a comma, remember the comma, or you can use the first, and let's say it was going to be a step. The first step is, or the first example is, the first reason is. Where the blank line is, you would just insert the word that was necessary uh, for your writing. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you are the transition words you would use after those. So we could use words like second, comma, the second step is, the second example is, the second reason is, and notice there's no comma after that. Um, we can use the word next with a comma, after that, comma, and then, comma. And then after those, we could use the transition words like these. Finally, comma, last, comma, and the last step is, the last example is, the last reason is. You get the hang of it, right? So you can always take a moment to pause this video and to write these down so that you're able to have them close to you for when you begin to write in English and you begin using these in your writing. It's always nice to see the transition words that we can use, but it's even better if we can see an example of how they're used. 
So let me give you an example for these transition words that show sequence. So let's say we're talking about Elena's nighttime routine. And we needed to use transition words to show that one thing happened after another. It would look like this short paragraph here. And I've taken the time to highlight the transition words that I used in different colors so that you can see them and you're aware of where they go in the sentence and also if they have a comma or not. So you can see I wrote, the first step is that she brushes her teeth. There's no comma when I use that transition, the first step is. Second, there's a comma, she washes her face. Next, comma, she puts on her pajamas. Then, comma, she reads in bed for 15 minutes. Finally, comma, she turns off the lights and goes to sleep. And you see with this small paragraph here, when you read it, it flows really nicely. Those transition words are bridges between those sentences that connect everything and make it super easy to read. Next, I'd like to talk about transition words that we use to show that specific examples are going to be talked about in your writing. And we use um, specific examples to show readers with words exactly what you mean, to give more detail, to give more support. So the transition words that we use are really important because it signals to the brain of the reader, hey, hold on, I need to really pay attention here because something important is coming up. This writer is going to show me what they're talking about by using words. So the transition words to show um, specific examples that I'd like to share with you are, for example, for instance, in particular, and specifically. These are four great transition words that you can start using in your writing today or immediately to show that you're going to be starting a sentence that's going to give a specific example or more detail. All right, it's great to know what the transition words are, but it's even better to see how they are used. Let's take a look at an example. So let's say that I'm writing a paragraph to, um, to show that Chicago is a fabulous city to visit in the summer, and I'm going to give three reasons why it's so fabulous to visit there in the summer. Well, here I've given you, you know, the first reason and then I'm following it with a specific example. As you can see, I use the transition word first that we learned for sequence to show, you know, the order or reasons. And I say first, there are many outdoor street festival. Now, I'm going to use the transition, um, for example, that's going to show that I'm going to talk about something specific or something in detail. And I'll say, for example, the Taste of Chicago takes place during the week of the 4th of July and has tents serving samples of food from over 200 delicious Chicagoland restaurants. So you can see here. I use the transition word first to signal to the reader that it's my first reason and that there are going to be more reasons coming. And then after my reason, I signal to the reader that I'm going to explain that reason in more detail. And they know that because I'm using the transition for example. And last, let's talk about some transition words that you would use for a conclusion, whether it's a concluding sentence or a concluding paragraph. Um, and the conclusion just lets the reader know that you're coming to a final thought, idea, or statement that you're probably going to summarize what you've said um, 
just to wrap up your writing in a nice, neat, organized manner. So what transition words do I have for you for conclusion? We have in sum, to conclude, in short, and in summary. These are four great, easy transition words for you to implement or to start using in your writing right away. And of course, we need an example to show you what this looks like in everyday writing. So we're still talking about Chicago and that it's a fabulous place to visit in the summer. And we're ending our paragraph that had three reasons. Um, we're gonna end it like this and we're gonna signal to your reader that we're ending it because we're going to use one of our transition words for conclusion. The one I chose was in short. In short, because of the outdoor festival's amazing architecture and dynamic theater scene, Chicago is definitely the place to be in the summer. So you see the transition word, it begins the sentence, there's a comma after it, and it's a great way to signal to the reader that we're coming to an end and we're going to have closure. Okay, just to recap or review or to go over what we learned, the transition words that I showed you for sequence were these. The transition words I showed you for specific examples were these. And the transition words that I showed you for conclusion were these. You might want to take a moment to pause the video, write these down or take a screenshot and then start using them in your writing. When you use transition words correctly, your writing improves immediately. There is no confusion then when you're writing and it makes it really easy for the reader to read what you have written. Thank you so much for learning with us. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this content and always Please consider subscribing. It really helps us get the word out to people across the globe who are learning English. For even more resources, you can visit our website at worldwidespeak.com. Thank you again. Take care.